Hello folks and welcome to another video from Flyby Technology. My name is John Parker and I'm the founder of the company and our aim is to give you the right information so that you can make the right decisions and fly safely and uh, within the rules. So that's what uh, drives us and so here's another video to help you. Today I want to talk about CAP722 and a recent change to CAP722 that will affect you. And it's something that wasn't in the original 19, uh, sorry, 2015 uh, copy of uh, CAP722, but is in the latest version. Now, uh, I'll show you on uh, a screen grab in a second just uh, what I'm talking about. So here we are, as you can see, we have vehicles, vessels and structures under the control of the SUA operator or remote pilot. And quite rightly, it talks about Article 95.2 sub c, which makes reference to vehicles, vessels and structures being under the control of the remote pilot or the operator themselves. Now, a vehicle or vessel could be said to be under the control of a person if, and that's how they word things quite often. Now, the very first phrase is the one that's a difficult phrase for us to get our heads around really. The vehicle or vessel is present for the purpose of participating in the flight operation, semicolon, and. It's that and that I want to draw your uh, attention to. If we carry on then, the operator of the vehicle or vessel, for example, the driver of a car or captain of a ship, and any passengers are under the control of the remote pilot and can reasonably be expected to follow directions and safety precautions to avoid unplanned interactions with the small unmanned aircraft. We can agree with that, can't we? And the owner or other person with an interest in the vessel or vehicle, such as a leasee or a lessee, has granted permission for a UAS to operate within 50 metres of that vehicle or vessel. Now, if we spin back to that first bullet, that vehicle or vessel is present for the purpose of participating in the flight operation and. Now, if that and was an or, then our operations are simple. All we have to do is satisfy the next two bullets. But as it stands at the moment, it says and, and so any vehicle or vessel present must be there for the purpose of participating in the flight operation. That means that you can't just take off from a car park with cars in the car park, um, and you can't even do a, a flight in a congested area, even if you have the permission from the owners of those vehicles, because those vehicles were not there for the purpose of the flight. Now, please don't go off to our regulator and complain. I mean, our regulator is on our side and we're on their side. Leave that to the NQEs. We've actually spoken to the, uh, the CAA. Now, the CAA hasn't got the bandwidth to deal with this at the moment because it has a lot to deal with with registration and getting that project out on time. So, if you just bear with us, please, we've already highlighted it as a major restriction and a change to our operation that perhaps not many people have noticed. And so our job at Flyby Technology really is to support the regulator while they support you. So please give them the time to get this corrected. And uh, we put out a video the other day which talked about amendment records. And this is a good example of why you must keep up with amendments, because this is where the change is likely to be promulgated. So you must keep aware of those amendments and the way that we're going to bring them to your attention in the future. Well, there you have it, folks. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you so did like the video, please subscribe to the channel and uh, click the notification bell so we can give you advance warning of uh, any changes to our channel so you can keep uh, up to speed with any of the changes that happen in the wider drone world. Uh, if you like the product and if you like to learn a bit more about Flyby Technology, please go to our website. It's uh, flybydronetraining.co.uk. And if you stay on there long enough, then you'll get a pop-up and uh, you'll be able to give us your information and we can have a conversation about drones, especially if you're looking to get some training. Uh, the reason that we're in this business in the first place is to pass on a lot of good information to new pilots so that the industry 
uh, develops at a, at a higher rate and uh, gets to a higher maturity level so that we can all enjoy the benefits. And that's what Flyby Technology is here to do. So thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.